Hi, my name's Andy Haynes. I'm the pastor of the Church on Seven Hills, and eight years ago, the Church on Seven Hills was birthed, and this is kind of a celebration week. And I just want to encourage you to take, take a couple minutes and watch this video of a very important moment in the life of the church when, when the Church on Seven Hills and the then Burncoat Baptist Church came together to become one church for the glory of God in the city. Hope it encourages you. Have a great week. I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. Hi, my name is Joyce Wenzel. I've been a member of Burnco Baptist Church since I was 13 years old. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Jerry Ainsola. I've been a member at Seven Hills pretty much in all four of its existence. My name is Willie Everett. I've been a member of Burnco Baptist Church uh, for about 18 years now. Hi, my name is Lucy. I've been a member at the Church of Seven Hills since the fall of 2015. There's a lot of memories here in this church. Those, those past memories come to me and it, it remained that people came and people left. But we always had a good amount of people that was here that was really, one thing about it, what I enjoyed, it was interested in the Word. Uh, those memories are going to stick with me the rest of my life to have it in my face again. I love it. A pretty quick memory of Seven Hills is probably even before it existed, um, being invited by some friends of ours at Hope Chapel, which is our sister church in Sterling. Um, we got invited, um, and when I mean we, I mean met my wife, Missy, and myself. Got invited to, to like, it was a Tuesday night at Moe's because it was like free dinner for kids and stuff like that. So we went there and they were talking to us about, you know, kind of the beginning parts of like, you know, what do you think about the church plan in Western and stuff like that. And so it was like, yeah, it was a pretty cool um, idea. And also it's cool to kind of meet with them and some other people that went to Hope Chapel, but also, the, also lived in Worcester. Um, so it was another couple that was there. Um, and then before, you know, before um, we knew it, you know, we were meeting with them weekly. Um, not so much at most, which would have been nice, but then we got meeting at Andy Haynes' house and talking with him and his wife and his family. Um, so yeah, that, that, so that's definitely um, a memory I'll, I'll, I'll continue to share because to kind of see how from just meeting with a group on a weekly basis, praying about this church and praying for Pastor Shane and his wife, and now to kind of see it in its progression, it's actually pretty cool. From the time my dad died in 2007, uh, the church family meant so much to me because they had visited my dad so much because my two brothers, one was in Tennessee, one was in Florida, and I didn't have any family here. And they were always there to support me. And the evening of my dad's memorial service, my family had all left to go back to Tennessee or Florida. And I was alone at that point, and I said, no, this is Wednesday night, Bible study. I'm going to church tonight. And Pastor Jim was you know, he was, why aren't you here tonight? I said, this is my church family, this is where I want to be. And it really helped me through that period. So the church family has meant a great deal, and it's your time and need there, there for you. So I went through a period of depression during medical school, um, and it was during a period when I was transitioning to the Church of Seven Hills. I didn't know anybody, and I was very afraid to be vulnerable. Um, but it was during this time that God reminded me that that's what church is all about. It's where sinful, broken people um, come to be prayed for, to pray, to be encouraged, and to encourage others. Seven Hills has been my family away from family. So during medical school, most of my family was away in Shanghai. Um, so it was really encouraging to be able to just live life with families here, to um, spend time with your kids, um, to go to soccer games, um, to babysit, uh, to just be welcome over for dinner um, when we really needed it, um, even if it was inconvenient for the families. So I'm just really thankful for, for all these people that God has placed in our life um, to be our families. Um, so what am I looking forward to as far as the, you know, after the marriage? Um, oh gosh. Uh, just the fact that we are now in an established, you know, church, an established building, <laughs> excuse me. Um, it, it, I'm looking forward to, you know, obviously getting to know the Burnco uh, people a lot more, especially this community. And just, um, just seeing just the growth of our, our members here. You know, we have, you know, a, a great mixture, you know, as far as like diversity and just the age and um, ethnic backgrounds and stuff like that. And just kind of seeing, um, 
I want the community to look at us and say, oh, you're just like us. And I want us as a, as a church to give back to the community uh, as far as like spreading the word um, and getting people excited about Christ and what that looks like. We prayed about this very, very hard. At, at my time, like I said, wasn't no young people in there, so basically, we was, me and another couple, he was carrying over the load, because I was kind of young, younger than, younger than. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud to see all these young children coming here, because they bring back memories. I know things do change, but the word never changed, see. You have to believe and have that faith. Everything is done in God's time, see. That's what I look forward to. I'm going to stay here, I'm going to join the church, and continue to go. Knowledge is wisdom. I want to get understanding of all of that. So God is good on here. Seven's here, church. Very cool right now. We're gonna merge pretty soon. And that's a good thing there too. I'm looking for growth. I'm looking for the young people, like our father said, that the young people to materialize and to understand and grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's what I'm looking for. I look I watch I watch kids in I'm looking forward to we can continue what I'm seeing now, the marriage will grow. We need this in the neighborhood we grow, people's coming in here. I'm looking for all of that. I'm looking for me going to my old age. Well, hey, I might be walking here with a crutch one day. As long as God gets me in here, I'm looking forward to enjoying the service each and every time I come in here. So I'm looking forward to being um, more present in the community. I think as a church, now that we're bigger, we're even more diverse, um, we have even more opportunities to be involved in the community and reach out um, and serve others in Burncoat. So I'm really excited for that. I feel that this church can become a beacon to the community. And I felt God has had something wonderful in store for us all these years. He's kept this little nucleus going for 26 and a half years. And I feel that there's going to be wonderful ministries come out of this church that will spin off. And as we celebrate today, that we pass this mantle, it's not an ending, it's a beginning. We're not just dissolving, we're evolving. Just thinking back, Burnco Baptist Church started the spring of 1957. This is now spring of 2017. This is our Jubilee year. So let's go forward today with anticipation, celebration, expectation, energy with the Holy Spirit and the joy that comes from God. Let's go forward starting today. This is the year of our jubilation.